What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're going to be out here looking for snakes. Now my real goal today is to show you the difference between venomous and non-venomous species. When it comes to identifying snakes, the most important thing to know beforehand is whether a snake is venomous or non-venomous. And in my home state of Louisiana, I'm pretty accustomed to knowing which snakes are perfectly harmless and which snakes can be potentially dangerous. Now, one of the very unfortunate things about identifying venomous snakes is the only thing all venomous snakes have in common is that they are venomous. The only good way to properly and perfectly identify venomous snakes is to identify the snakes that live in your area. First up, let's get ourselves a non-venomous snake. And I couldn't think of a better example of a beneficial non-venomous snake than a rat snake. There are actually two different rat snakes in this area. The gray rat snake and the far less common red rat snake, more commonly known as a corn snake. These snakes like to hide in and under logs this time of year and can be occasionally seen basking on forest edges and on standing logs. Yo, that's a snake. Yes! Check this out! That is so cool! This is a little corn snake. You can see all the holes it. Whoop, he's going in a hole. He's going in a hole. I would assume he'd come back out, but don't risk that. <laughs> Have a look at that. Beautiful little non-venomous snake. That is a corn snake. Corn snakes in Louisiana tend to have this very pretty orange coloration, kind of a brownish orange. Get some web off your face, buddy. This would probably be maybe a two or three year old snake, pretty young one. They get big. They get about five to six feet in length when full grown. Beautiful animal. You oftentimes see these snakes in the pet trade. They're a very common snake to see as a pet. However, they are a fairly found snake throughout the southeastern United States. Now here in Louisiana, they would be considered an uncommon species, but uh, people do readily find a few of these snakes a year. They'll be out in the roads at night. They'll kind of just be cruising around anywhere where there's lots of mice and lizards. I'd have to assume he'd be eating lizards around here because uh, in these old standing logs, there'd be lots of lizards. In fact, I'd have to guess there's a bunch of animals in here, maybe some more snakes, but uh, that's mostly what he'd be eating. He looks pretty well fed. Look at how fat he is. Look at that checkered belly. Corn snakes tend to have that little checkered belly. Now this, as I said before, is a non-venomous snake species. And a lot of people would unfortunately confuse this for a cottonmouth or even a copperhead snake down here, but they look completely different. Look at the head shape, look at their body colorations, their blotching is totally different, and even their body structure, they're not as fat. There's a lot of little indicators that this would be a non-venomous snake, but uh, very beautiful snake species, very relaxed, and look at how calm he is. It's like he's a pet. Literally like he's a pet. Corn snakes are a very docile snake. They're very pleasant to find out here. Really cool, non-venomous snake to see. Now we've got to go ahead and find a venomous one. I'm going to go ahead and put you back on your tree. Watch how good they crawl. They've got square belly scales. Is he going to go in that hole? Boop, boop, boop. No, he's not going in that hole. He's going to keep going. See you, little buddy. There are two different venomous snakes that live in this area, both of which are pit vipers. The very prevalent cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin, and the copperhead. These two very closely related snakes are fairly common, so it didn't take me too long to find one. Let's go. Look at him. Hey, sweetie. Not sure how heated up he's gonna be. Hello. That's copperhead. Nice size one, too. Hello, bud. He's not too heated up. Check that out. Yeah, he's very cold. This is a southern copperhead. This is a venomous species of snake that lives here in South Louisiana. Very dark colored one. They can be a lot lighter than this. And I can kind of take the liberty of touching his tail right now because it's very cool right now. In fact, the high for today is 60 degrees. And uh, I don't know what he's doing out. They'd normally be hiding in and under logs this time of day, but he was just out and about by that little tree. Beautiful coloration. He's got a lot of broken bands. Have a look at how camouflaged he is in the grass. Super, super camouflaged. You can easily step on a snake like this. And he's very dark colored. Southern copperheads have a hemotoxic venom. They can be dangerous. A few people have died from the snake. However, compared to the other venomous snakes here, they have a relatively mild venom. 
but they do cause a lot of amputations from their bites. So uh, definitely not a snake to be trifled with and definitely not a snake to uh, be messing with. I'm pretty good with these snakes. They're very heavy body. And obviously, as you can see, not an aggressive species whatsoever. Now I want to clarify real quick. Never try this. This is just to show you that these snakes aren't out to bite. Nothing more. Even venomous snakes are calm, beautiful animals when they're left alone, and they do their best to avoid people. If you ever see a venomous snake somewhere on your property, it's best to call a professional to move it, rather than try and kill it yourself or move it, as that is when most people do get bit. You got those vertical pupils, but that is not a good way to identify, it's okay. Not a good way to identify a venomous snake, even though it is a feature of pretty much every single pit viper species. Other snakes will have those little slit eyes. It's a neat feature of pit vipers, but uh, definitely not a go-to for identification. Now, pit vipers tend to be much heavier bodied snakes than most. However, hog-nosed snakes and many large species of water snakes will get confused for them because of that. Now, pit vipers, as you can see, they have that triangle-shaped head and that's for their venom glands. Their venom glands take up quite a bit of space on their head and it widens out their head. But water snakes and many other species of snakes flatten out their heads whenever they uh, get messed with to seem like a bigger snake or just to seem like a venomous snake, I guess. Very cool snake, very beautiful copperhead and an interesting time of year to see one out. Beautiful species, he's been very calm, very relaxed for us, so we're gonna go ahead and put him back by his tree and uh, he's gonna keep cruising. All right, little guy, see ya. I think he was right here. Back to your leaf litter. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. That is an awesome snake. Well guys, that's it for today's video. We really hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing and go check out our video we did a while back with the baby cottonmouth and baby copperhead. And we will see you guys next time.